What's up, everybody? Hey, check it out. This is another Mood Progress Productions with your guy, Markeith Price. Hey, you already know we're getting into some great topics. As always, I'm always talking about technology, always talking about motivation, moving, progressing, um, different things within technology, different things within finance, um, just all the stuff that I enjoy. I like to show my 3D renderings i like to show my creativity i also like to show uh put my music uh showcase my music on here so you guys let's check it out we're going to talk about hedging so hedging by marquee price what is hedging all right so i'm gonna zoom in so that i can read for all you guys that don't know i'm visually impaired as i always explain and so for my visual impair impairment uh people out there for those that aren't visually impaired and those that are totally blind, I got you. We're going to read. We're going to zoom in. So defining a hedge. A hedge is an investment that is made with the intention of reducing the risk of adverse price movement in an asset. Normally, a hedge consists of taking an off offsetting or opposite position in a related security. So a security like a, a fund or a trust or um, whatever that, like stock, the indice, foreign exchange, that's that. those are what securities are. So here's another definition. A hedge is basically a limit or boundary to keep your investment safe. Um, so if you think about hedging, think about insurance. You get insurance to keep your investments safe, whether you have a house, whether you have a car, whether it's over your own self, you have health insurance. So as we're getting insurance, we're hedging um, ourselves. We're hedging what we have. They have insurance on objects now just, or just random stuff. So you got insurance on your phone, insurance on your headphones, insurance on electronics, different things like that. And so basically it's a way to hedge something if it gets damaged um or if yeah something happens you can you have that insurance and how insurance basically works it covers majority of your costs majority of the times depending on your insurance so another way to explain hedging heading heading in now nah, i didn't spell that wrong so i'm gonna have to fix that up for you guys uh, but hedging in finance can be thought of as a way to keep your investment your investment losses to a minimum. So once again, it's just a way to keep your losses at minimum. This is supposed to be hedging. Apologize for that, you guys. But keeping your investment at, a lo uh, at, at its minimum. So defining a derivative, which is part of hedging. A derivative is a contract between two or more parties whose value is based on an, er an, an agreed upon underlying financial asset like a security or set of assets like an index. Common underlying in instruments include bonds, commodities, um, currencies, interest rates, market in, market indexes, and stocks. So all those things I was talking about before, those are uh, securities, which are also derivatives. So they're, finan they're uh, a financial instrument. A derivative is a, is an, look, I'm messing all up, is an, is an agreement between two parties that is documented. The exchange is based on some sort of financial asset. The two parties have to agree upon the price of that asset. All right, so these contracts are a way of exchanging things we find valuable. Things like bonds, commodities, currencies, interest rates, markets, market indexes and stocks um some examples are of exchange is like gold to usd 
or how we're trading crypto to certain things like uh another so another exchange is like crypto and usd so your cryptocurrency or maybe something of or like a stock to usd or something like that all right so let me zoom out for all you all what is hedging what is what is a hedge fund 